Okay, we're having a look at what's called conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. Now, what is conditional formatting? Conditional formatting is where you format a cell based on its value or what is inside that cell. This is really handy if you're looking for something uh, and you don't know, like you've got lists and lists and so much data, but you don't know where everything is, conditional formatting will reveal things to you. So let me show you what I mean. So here we have a bunch of numbers from A1 to A10. And I want to show the number five. I want the number five to jump out and really like be visible so I can see like how many fives do I have in this list of numbers. So that's where conditional formatting can help me. So I'm gonna select these cells from A1 all the way through to A10. I'm going to go up, I'm on my home tab, I'm going to go to the styles section, conditional formatting is there, I'm going to click a little drop down arrow. Now, you got two choices here guys, you can go to a new rule where you create the rule from scratch and I'll show you how we do that, but the first obvious one is to have a look here and see it says highlight cells rules and you see it's already got a couple of pre-designed conditional formatting rules that we can maybe make use of. So I'm looking for the number five. So greater than, less than, between, equal to. That's the one I'm looking for, equal to. Something that is equal to something. So I'm gonna click on equal to. And it says format cells that are equal to. It's got a four filled in there, but I don't want four, I want five. The number five, and you can see it's already doing stuff as I'm changing this. I can now choose what sort of formatting I would like to have. I can choose a light red fill with a dark red text, yellow fill, yellow fill, hey fill, oh, I thought it was going funny, green fill with dark green text, light red fill, I mean you can choose red text, red border or custom format, custom format, if I click on that, I'll show you, it just means that I can sort of change, I can choose the color that I like, so I'm going to go with like a light green and the font I'll make uh, black, bold yeah that's cool click ok once you've got your formatting done if you've chosen custom or you've chosen any one of these for now it doesn't matter click ok click ok let's have a look so every time the number five appears inside here and you know what? i made it randomized so it can change all the time so you'll see it kicks in automatically the moment there's a five look at that that's pretty cool Right, and that's what conditional formatting does. So that was the one way of doing it. I'm going to go ahead and show you the second method. Okay, conditional formatting. I'm going to clear the rules. Clear the rules. Right, so now I've got no conditional formatting. Highlight my cells, conditional formatting, and I'm going to create a rule. Okay, instead of choosing one of the pre-designed rules, I'm going to create one. So I'm going to go to new rule. Now have a look at all of these options. At first it might seem a little intimidating, but do not stress, it's not that bad. So format cells based on the values, format only cells that contain, format only top or bottom ranked values, format cells below or above an average, format unique or duplicate values, or use a formula. Well, let's have a look here. I'm going to go to format only cells that contain, and that's what I'm looking for, cells that contain a specific number. So let's have a look. Format only cells with a cell value, text, dates, blanks, no blanks, errors, no errors. These are just all the options that we have. But we want to look at cell of value. It's not going to be between anything. It's an actual single number. So let's see. Between, not between, equal to, not equal to, equal to. That's the one I want. Equal to. And equal to what? Well, the number five. Format cells that are equal to the number five. So show me the cells that have a number five, okay? And how is it gonna show me? This is where I do the formatting now. So as you can see, there's a preview. There's nothing that's been set here yet. So let's go and create it. Format, right, so font, we'll make it bold. Strike through, yeah, why not make it really obvious? Give it a border. Just gonna click and choose a border there. I'm just clicking to select my border. You know what, let's even give it a red border. Yeah, that's cool. And then the fill, we'll make it yellow. So we're really going all out, okay. I can choose fill effects, more colors, and a pattern style if you really wanted to. Okay, now 
There is no way we're going to miss the number five in this list. Okay, have a look. Click OK. That's what it's going to look like. It's insane. Please don't do this like for real. Click OK. And I can already see there's my first number five. I'm going to just randomize the list again. There they are. Randomize again. There they are. All right, so that's the first one. That's when we're looking for a specific number. And we can tell it when you see that number, format the cell based on these rules. Okay, got my headset on. Uh, here you can see we're going to use another conditional formatting rule. And I'm going to show you what it does. So I'm going to select from A1 through to A11, conditional formatting. And we're going to highlight rules. We're going to go with a greater than. So anything greater than 500. Let's do that. Greater than... Greater than what? Greater than 517? No, 500. Thank you very much. Greater than 500. We'll just choose a green fill with dark text. OK. Click OK. Absolutely awesome. And if I randomize through the numbers, as you can see, any number that is greater than 500 gets put there. That's another way that we could do something. Now, uh, let me show you another method for this. Go ahead and select that conditional formatting. I'm just going to clear the rules from this worksheet and create my own one, a new rule. Again, let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, format cells based on their values, format cells that contain, etc. etc. Well, let's do this. Format cells that contain the cell value is greater than. I can also go greater than or equal to, depending on what it is I'm looking for. But I'm going to go with greater than, and I'm going to put there 500. Choose a format. I'm going to do a basic formatting there. Click OK, click OK, and there you go. So that's conditional formatting using numbers and greater than symbols. Now, what about text? Can we do something with text? Absolutely. Here in my next sheet, I've got... A2 to A13 with just random um, text. String. It's called string. Okay, in computer speak. Conditional formatting. Let's do highlight. Highlight cells. Text that contains. And let's look up the word beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. And you know, beautiful can't be red. Beautiful is going to be green. So there we go. And there we go. All right. Or, or, again second way and I'm doing this every single time so you guys can get used to this okay conditional formatting let's create our own rule from scratch format cells based on their values no format cells that contain something yes format cells only with cell value specific text there we go not cell value because that's a number specific text yes containing not containing beginning with ending with okay containing and we'll write the word beautiful give it a format there we go and let's see that it works spot on let's look at the next one visual now let's say these are your marks for the term english afrikaans math science geography and cats of course and of course you did really well in cat good job so i'm going to select these here and this is something super cool from a visual perspective okay you can go to conditional formatting Go to data bars and you can actually choose. I'm going to go to these ones. Check it out. That's pretty cool. Data bars, that's conditional formatting based on the cell values and it gives you like an indicator as to which is the highest one, which is the lowest one. It's kind of like a, a, a mini graph type thing. Okay, but that's using conditional formatting. So give that a try as well. It's actually a lot of fun. So now it can be anything greater than 800. Not working. Why? 